right, my name's Bryant. Hey, I'm Lou. And we just moved here from Arizona. We, uh, I've always loved Grand Junction. I, uh, I first was here in the late 80s. I went to college here. And then I came back on a travel assignment as a nurse here. I'm an RN. For whatever reason, I was always coming back every other year or so hanging out in Grand Junction. I mean, it's obvious to me why now that that I moved here, but basically you can't beat the outdoors. I love the Red Rocks. I love that about Arizona and the Four Corners area. I'm surrounded by Red Rocks, but better than Sedona. Um, I've got way more Red Rocks than uh, Sedona. I like that this is a smaller uh, community. Uh, what also drew me here was, uh, you know, all the farming and the farm to table. Uh, you know, that is such a incredible opportunity because in Phoenix I had to eat old, like store, like not ready to eat vegetables and fruit from the store. But here, the fruit and vegetables taste totally different because they're super fresh. I feel like it's a cabin, even though it's right here in the middle of uh, Grand Junction. And so uh, Robert helped, he helped us find this house and he came highly recommended. And now my family can't recommend him and his wife enough. In fact, my best friend is moving up here and uh, Robert- using the same guy, Robert. Yeah, so he's using uh, Robert as well cause he's just, uh, he's done right by us. I needed a house that would be appropriate for my elderly mom. And uh, she has some struggles with um, dementia. So I needed a home that, you know, was safe for her and had a big enough walk-in, you know, shower and restroom that would suit her needs. Like even if I had, uh, you know, if she was in a wheelchair at the time, because I look after her. All while being affordable as well, as opposed to Phoenix, you know? Oh yeah, like totally, uh, I can't believe how much home you can get here for, uh, you know, so much less money than Phoenix and many other places. It, you know, in, in fact, it kind of freaks me out because I know that soon people are going to discover this place and it's probably not going to be this affordable. Of course, it's not going to be this affordable. And um, traffic's way better here. People don't people have any nicer. idea how awesome it is to live here. Farm to table, less traffic, awesome weather, probably about like Sedona, Arizona. For those of you that don't know the reference of Sedona, it's it's pretty nice weather year round. Well, it is here too. Another weird thing that I've noticed in town is many of the places I go actually have customer service. Like, I'm not joking. Uh, in Phoenix, like I actually forgot about customer service because it's been gone for like, I bet a good four or five years. years. And so there's like little things that are, that happen in this town that kind of feel really, really nice. Like my neighbors like brought us tomatoes from one of the local. Yeah, people just care more. Totally awesome. Like super nice and um, it's just, uh, it's a beautiful little town. I mean, we got rivers that run through here for God's sakes, man. And we've got, we have mesas and many places to go fishing, hunting, if you're into that type of thing. Literally snowshoeing. all sorts of recreational activities, mountain biking hub, fruit if anything, is right next to us. Yes, dude, if anything, the problem is there's too many things to do here. And you, you can't know, make you, up your mind, you'll go totally. crazy. This is a, a phenomenal place and I would love to keep it to myself and my family a little bit longer, but it's gonna be discovered here pretty quick. Yeah, we just, we're just excited to be here. We want to be part of the community. We love all these like fruit and vegetable stands. Uh, I mean, palaces. Concerts every Thursday that are free. Yeah, that's so awesome. Like in all these towns, like Ridgeway and uh, Aspen and Glenwood Springs, all like so many awesome things within a two hour drive. You guys have no idea. See, I prefer deserts and mesas but sometimes you just have to get to the 14ers and they're super close. So no matter- Moab, super close. Moab, you know, way close. Thing. Yeah, Green River, like so many, so much water stuff out here, so much fishing. And uh, again, Robert and his wife are awesome. And thank God that um, our realtor found him. So if you're thinking about moving to Grand Junction, I think my family would say that, you know, it's a good choice. You know, and we recommend Robert for sure.
Yeah, Robert and Christy Hayes. My best friend's going to him. Can't wait for him to move here shortly. And uh, I consider Robert a friend. 